He's not beating on my children, just me. So you weigh what you think is best. Some of these women have experienced abuse from childhood on, and so they have post-traumatic stress disorder that's accumulated. And some of them haven't been in treatment to, to attend to that post-traumatic stress disorder or that depression. That's why it's helpful when women with disabilities access the court systems that the courts determine whether the women with disabilities also are connected with other community resources that might be of help. Everything takes a little longer when you're working with people dis with disabilities. Even just getting into the courtroom, getting out of the courtroom, getting situated, working with accommodation and assistive devices. When I went to obtain a stay away order to um, have my husband removed from the house and um, not um, be around me, the clerk behind the desk was not supportive to me at all. I told her that the incident had just happened. I was very upset, and due to my partial sight, I was not able to fill out the form without making errors. She just kept putting the form back out to me, pointing out the errors that I have made, and I still couldn't get it right. So finally, she had uh, my son to fill out the form for me, which I thought she should not have done. I thought at that time someone should have been appointed for me um, to advocate for me in that area, um, but she did not. I also think it would be very helpful to allow women with disabilities to have somebody who could be allowed legally to explain forms and procedures to them. Um, to have my child um, in between the two of us, um, I was not comfortable with that at all. And I feel like the court system should um, take steps in trying to provide people with disabilities the support that they need to help advocate for them. To have a family member, especially a child, the child of the couple, to be in between the two of them is not good. I'd also like for judges to recognize the high costs of being disabled. There are many costs to being disabled from trying to make a home accessible, getting an accessible car, treating medical conditions, and they barely have enough money after that to be able to secure attorneys who could provide them quality representation in court. And when a judge, for example, makes a ruling that would essentially force a woman with disability to sell an accessible home, that in essence is affecting her quality of life. People with disabilities deserve support and respect from a justice system that will prosecute their offenders and allow them to move forward with their lives, free of violence and neglect. What happens in the courtroom for the person with a disability is truly a nightmare. I would just like judges to remember that no one is immune from a disability and no one is immune from being involved in abuse.